Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I am going to discuss about adapter pattern. Adapter pattern is also part of the gang of four design patterns and it is a structural design pattern. The main intent of this pattern is to allow two classes to work together which will not otherwise due to incompatible contract. So let's take an example to understand what it is but at a very high level as the name suggests it's an adapter pattern meaning it is used to adapt one type into another that is the bottom line of this particular design pattern. Now let's take an example here. So I'm going to take this the out of box template that comes with ASP.NET Core and here I'm using ASP.NET Core 5. In this there is a weather forecast controller and the weather forecast controller returns an array of weather. Now let's consider that we want to abstract this implementation into a different class something called as weather forecast provider. So what we can do is we can create a new class and interface combination and we can name the class as weather forecast provider and then we can just copy paste this method and we can create a new public i enumerable of weather forecast get and here we can do this. Now we need the summaries also from here so let's copy this summaries from here and paste it here. So now this class is providing the weather forecast and let's extract an interface out of it and now what we can do is we can we can go here and we can create a new dependency here and then after that what we can do is instead of all these things we can just say return underscore weather forecast provider dot get. So if we make this change uh, and let's go add the weather forecast provider to dependency injection. So I weather forecast provider weather forecast provider set this and now let's run this application and once I run this application I can go into swagger I can try out and execute and we get all the weather forecast into this format now let's say the requirement is we want to send the weather forecast into a pipe separated string so what we can do is based on the requirement we can create a new class called weather as string provider and then here we can create public string get and we'll do something here and let's create a constructor also okay so this is what is going to return the string now the weather forecast comes from the weather forecast provider so let let's add weather forecast provider as a dependency and let's keep the naming convention consistent with the controller which means with underscore and here what we can do is if we do underscore weather forecast provider dot get that's going to return an array and then we can say dot select and weather forecast and here what we can do is we can do dollar and we can say w dot date pipe w dot temperature in Fahrenheit and then pipe w dot summary let's say we just have this so this is going to create a uh, array of string or an i enumerable of string and then what we can do is we can do a string dot join and for the separator we can say environment dot new line comma and then we can pass this array and we can return this 
So, this will return a string which is separated by new line and then finally, each line are nothing but the five separated values of individual attributes. Now, let us create an interface out of it. Okay, now the interface is created. Let us go and add this interface to the dependency injection container. So, we says dot add singleton and this is I weather a string provider and weather a string provider. So, it is all ready and now let us go to the controller and change here and say I weather a string provider weather a string provider and let's get rid of this and here let's rename this to underscore let's get rid of this and here we can say I weather a string provider dot get and now if we run this application and we have to change the return type here from I memorable to a string. Okay, and now if we run this application, what we are going to see is uh, a string where each line is separated by a new line character and then each attribute is separated by pipes. And we can see this is what it is showing just as expected. And now this is all set and we might have been writing some unit test, integration test and stuff like that against this controller. Some unit test against this controller and testing out mocking this string provider and stuff like that. Now a new requirement came that we have to use CSV for this. Now one way of going about it is just change the code of weather forecast a string provider and change this to CSV or what we can do is let's say we are going to use a third party component which provides CSV. So, let us go here and search for CSV. So, I am going to go ahead and install CSV and consider that this CSV NuGet package itself is going to provide all the implementation, but which is not going to be the case. We still have to pass on the data which comes from the weather forecast provider, but consider that that NuGet package already got the data and did it. In that case, the adapter pattern would make sense. So now what we are doing is we are essentially using a CSV creator, but we still want to use the same interface as the weather string provider so that our controller does not change and our tests are not severely impacted apart from the fact that now it will be a comma separated string instead of a pipe delimited. So, for that what we can do is now we can create an adapter. So, just like weather a string provider we can create a new class and we can name this class as weather as CSV provider and this class will also implement the same interface I weather a string provider and here in the implementation it is going to return a CSV instead of a plain string. So now here we'll inject the same I weather forecast provider. And here we're going to say var CSV equal to underscore weather forecast provider dot get dot select weather forecast provider and we are going to create a new string array. Let us fix this and the string array is going to contain the date then temperature in Fahrenheit and then finally the summary. Okay. So, this is going to give an enumerable of array of string and then what we can do is we can say CSV writer dot and let us add the namespace CSV from the new NuGet package 
and dot write to text and here we need an array of headers so let's declare an header var headers is equal to new it's going to be a string array and for the headers we can have date temperature and summary so the first parameter will be headers and the second parameter will be uh, i enumerable of a string array so which is the csv that we created and we can return this value and then after that we can go into startup and for the i weather string provider instead of passing the weather string provider we can pass the new adapter class that we have created which returns weather as csv so weather as csv provider so as you can see we changed the implementation of the interface now to return a csv instead of string but we could not use the csv writer directly inside of the other class because the other class needed change because this particular contract is not known to weather forecast controller weather forecast controller already have an interface and it's calling a get to it so all we did is we created an adapter pattern implementing the same interface and change the implementation to return a csv instead of a string so that is in short how we can implement adapter pattern adapter pattern is one of the pattern we all implement in regular basis it's just that we don't notice so as you can see here now we created a csv file from the same data this is in short what adapter pattern is if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you are new to my channel and if you think you are getting value out of my channel please subscribe to my channel and thanks so much for watching this video